Hello again. Now this is part two, and we will be animating our intro. Now we first need a camera, and to do that or to create that, just press about two seconds to the light button and create a camera. Go to cameras, scene cameras, and camera. Now what you see is what the camera sees. Now just I want to give it a beginning position. I want it to begin like this. And then just this is the keyframe button. And then just add a keyframe. And at 30 I want it to be on here like so and then double click the keyframe button go to 50 then I want it on here like so double click on the keyframe button again and then at 70 I want it on here again and double click on the keyframe button and when it's 90 I want it on here wait a minute like so press one time on the keyframe button now as we play it oh it is really fast now to make it slower just make this 90f just 120 press enter now just wanna drag the keyframe on 90 to to 120 I'm gonna drag this keyframe to here and this one on here now as we play it it's still fast actually just wanna get it on here this one on here, this one on here, and just as we play it now, mm, yes, it's good. If you want to add some more things to it, you can, but this is enough for us. Uh, Yes, now I'm going to show you the rendering settings and how to render it. Now, just go to that middle button. Oh, sorry. Press to that render rendering options button. Go to output. Just make the width uh, 1280 and the height 720 and just make the resolution 112 like so go to save I want it to be saved on my desktop as to to no oh, tutorial intro one and then just press save go to format make it a quick time movie and go to options make this one a 
mpeg4 video just be sure that quality is on best and that's it just close it and press to that middle button it will begin rendering it frame by frame oh wait a minute we forgot something just go to output again make it from zero to hundred and twelve because uh, it begins from zero F and it stops at 112 frames okay then you can begin rendering it oh yes like so yeah it's going to render it frame by frame and it's going to save it to your desktop Thanks for watching, please comment and subscribe.